random players start. We're currently on Tanoa, and what we're going to do is we're going to place a player. So we're going to go to the comms elf over here, and we're going to place a rifleman. That's all we have to do for him for right now. And then we're going to go to F6 for markers, and we're going to choose a start marker, and we're going to place this over here, and we're going to edit the marker and we're going to name this mark m-a-r-k hit ok and our marker is named mark next we'll just click on that marker to highlight it make sure it's green here and then we're going to press ctrl c which will copy it and next we're going to go to the map we're going to go down to noah sugar company and we're going to go down by this road here and we're going to place down a mark we're going to edit the marker and we're gonna name this Mark 1. And that's all we have to do for that. And then we're gonna zoom out again. And we're gonna go down to the Tanoa Airport. And we're gonna paste marker. And we're gonna edit the marker. And we're gonna name this Mark 2. And we're gonna place one more marker, Bala Airstrip. And we're gonna paste the marker. Double click the marker and then we're going to name this Mark 3. And that's it. So we should have four markers. Next, we're going to go to the player. Click on the player and go here. We're going to edit the player. We're going to go to his INIT box and we're going to put in it code. So we're going to put this space set as or position space left curved bracket get marker capital M and then pause get marker pause then space and then you're gonna go left curve bracket and you're gonna go select random space left square bracket quote now this is where we put the name of the markers so I'm gonna put mark quote and then comma put quote mark one quote comma, space, quote, mark, two, quote, comma, the last marker, quote, mark, three, quote, and after the last marker, you don't need to place a comma. You just put a square bracket and then two curvy brackets and then a semicolon to end the code. So checking over our code, we have this set pause or position, get marker position, select random and mark, mark one, mark two, mark three, and then that's it. Once you have that, press OK. And then we're going to save this. And we're going to put it on to Noah. And we're going to name this random start. Now that that's saved, let's test it out by playing the scenario. So we don't know where we're going to start, and apparently we, we started here at the Tanoa Sugar Company. And if we restart again, we are now at the Bala Airstrip. And if we restart again, we are now at the Tanoa Airfield airport and if we restart back at the same place we'll start one more time and here we are we're at the comms center kind of where we started up by the volcano I have another video with more complex code that will allow you to make the player enemies objectives and objects and even vehicles randomly start wherever you place a marker check it out here.